Read a book, wake up skinny. If only it were that easy. But with well over 85% of diets failing, one new approach to weight loss takes a more mindful approach. Our food coach, Lori Corbin, examines if this simple solution can really work. I thought, okay, I'm all about the mantra idea in your head and thinking of um, that positive way of, of ideas being brought in your head. But I'm also a bit hesitant in and believing fully in that idea of I'm going to be skinny because I keep thinking it. Sugar lover and ongoing Weight Watcher Janet Gomez recently read Wake Up Skinny. It's a book with a new approach to weight loss that starts in your head rather than on your plate, something dietitian Susan Bowerman readily supports. One of the things that we know with weight loss is it is about not just what you eat, but sort of how you approach your food and how you think about it. And so this idea of mindful eating and all of these things that you can do on the behavioral side is very, very important. There's a, a zillion diet books out, 95% of them do not cover what we teach people. Author Mark Patrick's not a diet doctor, but rather a behavior modification expert. He says he's seen success by getting people to change their negative self-talk messages to positive ones, which leads them to make real life changes. You tell yourself a lie loud enough, long enough, eventually you're going to start to believe it. If you see yourself as unhealthy, you're going to attract unhealthy habits. Things like, I'm fat, lazy, I hate to exercise, and no, I can't give up sweets. Solution? Change the chatter. Turn your negative self-image into a positive one, which will help you gravitate towards the healthy things you want to attract. Patrick says talk to yourself as if you've already achieved your goal because your subconscious operates in the present. So rather than say, I'm going to lose 10 pounds and be at my ideal weight, he suggests I'm healthy, thin, and at my ideal weight. When you start telling yourself you're a healthy, fit, motivated person before you actually are one, what happens is you'll create that image and that snapshot. And if by chance these positive thoughts like, I like to exercise, are really little white lies, he says... Attach the uh, association of pleasure towards the result. I enjoy the benefits of exercise. The catch? It takes about three weeks of reading, writing, and hearing your mantra out loud to believe it. Telling yourself that you can do something. I mean, we do this all the time in other areas of our life. And why we don't do it with our food, I don't know. Lori Corbin, ABC7 Eyewitness News.